This is Real Estate On Air, the most authoritative real estate show on radio. Good afternoon and welcome to Real Estate On Air. My name is Chico. I have the pleasure and the privilege of the company of the chief executive of 3Invest and the anchor and the host of Real Estate On Air, Ruth Obi. Hi, Ruth. Hello, Chico. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the host is being hosted. <laughs> That's nice. You, you know, it, it's not often one um, has the opportunity of doing stuff like this where you're not only an interviewer, but you're interviewing someone that's, that's a personal friend. So it's awkward. So if we're a little bit informal, uh, you'll bear with us. <laughs> He's actually my brother, <laughs> not just friend. We have ban off with you, so <laughs> it's okay. All right, yeah. welcome again. Um, look, this is a journey that started 10 years ago. It's been a while. It can't have all been smooth sailing. There's got to have been bumps, bruises in the way. But the truth is, this is your baby, and it has been a huge success. The fact that it's 10 years is a huge testament to that. You had your doubters. Uh, well, at, some <laughs> point, at some point, I was one of them. Um, <laughs> but, 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 but let's start with you saying, you know, how, what drives you? How come? You think different. You had that vision. You were able to stick with it. It's a, it's a rare gift. Um, thank you, Chico. Um, so I think when I started real estate on air, I was, I, I was looking for value. Mm. Um, I had started a real estate business with little or no experience. I, I'm a lawyer, obviously, yeah. and. The only experience I had was my background in property law. Yes. And when I entered the industry, I realized that it was just vague and empty. Yeah. And the perception was just, you know, I don't even know how to explain. There was just nothing in it. It was just a group of professionals who sell real estate hmm. and get commission or developers. That was the perception you know, to mm. the common, um, the common knowledge yes. for everyone. And I was like, this is not what I see real estate to be outside Nigeria. Yeah. This is not what I think real estate should be. We shouldn't limit it to just buying and selling a property mm. or building. And I thought, okay, what can I do differently? And I realized for me to be able to get to where I want to go, I needed to create value. I yes. needed to create the enabling environment yes. for myself i was thinking about myself it was success for me at the time mm -hmm. and i needed to create my own um channels you know my own assets so yes. i started building them so instead of building real estate i was building services so i started we started blogging at the time that was 2010 at the time blog blogging was just coming up yeah. you know i started just getting information out there there was depth of information you couldn't find anywhere to get just decent mm. real estate information so i started doing that in the middle of doing that i was like why can't i just do a show like okay and you know i bounced that idea by someone like ah, uh -uh, you have not even done real estate yeah, on the ground sure. on the ground you <laughs> want to do it on the air ah. I was like, well, that's what I think that will be outstanding. Mm -hmm. There was no precedence. Obviously, I asked around. I was like, oh, there was one guy that wanted to do a radio property, but it, there was no show like that. So I started, you know, to, you know, actualize my dreams. So I put together my plan and obviously, you know, had... The rest, as they say. You know, exactly, yeah is history so but the thing is the most amazing thing that why this show is here today is that opportunity that was granted by this um this studio the classic you know and the mega electrics group yeah. to actually present a real estate show because they never had one and yeah so that's actually you know why we're here today so very grateful for that we're delighted to have yeah. uh, <laughs> be mentioned in that light as part of of, of the journey now, 
you've gone into talking about the concept, but it is, it is a challenging industry, really, and, and one that is predominantly male. male. Mm -hmm. So what's been your experience with that? Ah, uh, well, you know what it is. Um, so I don't like, as a br I, I don't, I think personally, mm -hmm. I don't like to be associated, like put in the box, women's events, women's stuff. Mm -hmm. I just feel, I mean, my background, legal background is everybody is equal. Yes. Like, yeah, the, the law does not recognize male yeah, or, female. or female. Yeah, so I have, I've had that background. So coming to this industry, what I saw earlier in the day when I started this was, it looked like you know, I was just the only visible female. Mm. Because they were female, but either they were not in leadership positions yeah. or they were not, they couldn't come out, they didn't have a voice. Yeah. So it, it looked like what I was doing was so different. It, it, I mean, it, looks like, it looked like it was magical mm. because they couldn't, they, they felt like they didn't, they didn't have that platform. No one yes. was creating yes. that platform. Fast forward today, almost all the real estate companies have got female leaders right now and I just feel like maybe there was a voice that made that happen yeah, yeah. Um, so it's an industry that where um, I mean I, I can be rather vocal on the radio and I, uh, I have had a go now and again about certain certain things I'll go into specifics a little later on uh, as we talk but what role has things like criticism played for you where People come up and they say this, that, that, or the other. Has it, has it played any role in the decisions you make? Well, yeah, I think it sort of remotes my perception, mm. okay? When I'm being criticized about something, like when I started the show, you remember I had to hire a host? Yep. I couldn't, yeah. I, I, I haven't been on radio. Yeah. I don't know anything about, <laughs> I'm not a host. Like, where is this happening, you know? So when I, I had to hire, I just, I just felt like I couldn't do it. Until one day, this guy didn't show up, and I had to do my mm -hmm. show. I went to Oga Chris, and I was like, what am I going to say? This is an opportunity for you to prove yourself. Go get the show done. People are going to laugh at you, but you're going to get better. So that was how I actually got yeah. myself boxed into doing the show. Because you know, with me, when I'm being criticized, I go back and check. Sometimes people criticize what they don't understand. Okay, they will advise based on their knowledge. Yeah. They don't understand your vision. They don't share in your dream. They don't know where you're going to. Mm. They're only offering opinion that they know there was no precedent in real estate radio. So they're going to tell you it won't work. Okay, mm. they'll tell you why you waste your time trying to do this. But mm. I mean, at the end of the day, the value of the show at the time, 10 years ago, is only just 5% of what it is today. And this is something that was built out of even criticism because yeah. if I'd given up, I wouldn't have been have here been today. So let's go to the journey itself. The show has 10 years behind it. Um, so take us through concept, rollout, and the journey to where we are today. Um, you know, it's, I wouldn't lie to you. It's been a, a, a challenging one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say difficult because um, the only thing I learned about th from this show is that you need to be consistent, okay? You can't have the days I can't do it. Mm. I'm tired, you know, I don't feel up to it. Yes. You have to show up. You have to be you. you. You have to have that same voice, whether you're high or low. Do you understand? So in trying to create content that is outstanding, that is, that is relatable, that is being listened to. It takes a lot of mental work. It takes a lot of research. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of teamwork, okay? So over the years, I mean, I've had, I was blessed with, you know, wonderful producers, Kunle and Victor, and days that I just can't deal. Victor would be like, Ruth, what, what can I do? And, you know, Kunle would be like, ah, <laughs> you know? So they, the two made it so easy. That's why, like they're not here today, I kind of feel like, oh, something is missing in my life. And for the past <laughs> 10 years, it's just been them. You know what I'm saying, especially Victor. So um, it's, 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 it's just being consistent and understanding that you can't give up. 
and that's just life that's mm. you know the, the, those days that you you can't get up and say oh, okay you have a paid show you have an interview to mm. go and you not give up so the most um, um amazing thing i think that we have there and we create is the content that we put out there getting the right speakers getting the right questions to ask them getting the right content that people can relate to so that has been what has held the show over mm. the past 10 years and obviously the people yes. that you know been, that, that supported the show to to get here so big shout out to kunle and victor yeah. you guys rock I know, <laughs> <my guys. laughs> um okay so real estate in a country like nigeria and specifically in a city like lagos it's um it's big business. In fact, it's one of the major industries in a state like Lagos, where obviously you've got the huge population, mm -hmm. um, expatriates and otherwise. What impact would you say that this radio show has had on that industry? Okay, so it's brought a revolution in the industry because I would say last 10 years, I had three words revolution, digitization, globalization. Mm. Those were the things that were driving me. I wanted to push out this word. So coming today, you see that if you did not digitize your brand, 10 or years past, pandemic got caught on you. Yeah. If you didn't globalize your, your, your brand through all the social media mm. and all the platforms, all the digital platforms yes. that people criticized back in the days, this um, this will catch up on you. So what I saw, what what we did at Three Invest with our advocacy platform, which includes real estate on air, was to get people to understand this concept that we are talking about. So when we're saying revolution, rev, revolutionizing the Nigerian yeah. real estate industry, yeah. I remember there was a jingle that we used to run then, and people would which one is this revolution? We would say digitization and all that. This is it, yeah. okay? This is that preparing you for the future. And you can see the future now. Everybody is, you know, the That's future right. is flexible. The future is digital. People are working from home. They call it new normal. But then people, some people didn't embrace it. Mm. The ones that embrace it are the companies that are actually doing well. Yeah. While most of them are either different or you don't even hear because, of course, time has caught, yeah. caught up with them. Yeah. No, they no cares. And Nokia, by the way, is in what I hear they have a phone. They have a new phone. They have a new phone. <laughs> they a new they phone. A new phone They're trying to make a comeback. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So you're not going to be trying to make a comeback. You yeah. see what I'm saying? But that's basically what it is. So we've been able to use our platform, the Real Estate on Air, Real Estate Unites, to bring the industry to, together, to create some kind of network, to create um, at least the most important thing out of this show is the people that I've met. I've interviewed over 120 people mm -hmm. that I didn't know before. It's created access for, for the brand. Mm -hmm. It's created access for my company. It's also created a platform for these companies to also thrive yes. over the years. Mm -hmm. So this is something that was not there before. I mean, to come on a show before was a big deal. Oh, you have to call the station, yeah. blah. Now, this is a niche show. We look for you. As far as you're adding value, mm -hmm. you have a message. We go to you. It's not. I mean, it's not paid for. Yes. You know, so you come and you be able to deliver your expert opinion that people can learn from and begin to make better informed decisions in the real estate side of things. Lovely. Any regrets? Looking back, uh, <laughs> oh, I should have this. Oh, I shouldn't have that. Oh, any? Uh, <laughs> any regrets? You know what? The, the so, honest truth is. Yes. I wouldn't say that I regret though. There, there are no regrets when it comes to this particular <laughs> show. <laughs> Let me just say, no, no, no. There are no regrets because I'm actually thankful yeah. that I had this opportunity to be here, starting from being granted the access, starting from people believing in the dream, yes. starting from people supporting it. I couldn't have done it by myself. Mm -hmm. So why would I regret the favor that I've gotten thus far. So mm -hmm. it's just gratitude, you know, gratitude, appreciation, wow. and that's, that's what all my heart is, you know, filled with at the moment, yeah. So earlier you mentioned Victor and Kunle, I think, yeah, as a, <laughs> yes. But 
Right, it's 10 years. Are there any other stakeholders, people you'd like to mention who've had made some sort of contribution? Yeah, like, um, I mean, this 10 years, this anniversary edition, or this whole 10 years is dedicated to the people that actually supported the show. So just even before Kunle and Victor yes. were given the opportunity or privilege yes. of being part of this show, some people were there. Okay. So first of all, Chris Obossi, uh -huh. okay, who actually shared the dream. Because the first time I made an appointment to come see him, I was like, I have a real estate. He knew I was in real estate, but you know, just a starter. I was just yeah. a newbie, you know. I was like, I want to do a show. This he was like, show qua. Like, you know, I was like, I started telling him, he asked me questions. I was like, okay, fine. Cool. Do you have sponsors? Because it's not free. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, well, we'll give you 30 minutes airtime, but you have to pay for it. But you can start. Okay. And if you get a sponsor, you pay. So that was, you know, a privilege that it's not easy to get from yes. a stranger who just offers you, you know, that was empowerment for me. So mm -hmm. for me, key was Chris. One, the second time was now going to find the money. Okay, because we were now on the show <laughs> looking for money. We couldn't find sponsors. Obviously, I didn't know how to look for sponsors. Yeah. I was just trying to sell to people that I thought they were my target audience until I had to like, I, w I said to my friend, I said, see what's going on. These people are laughing at me. They said I should have shut down my show. You know, like, you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like this thing is not working. Go shut your show. It's not, it's, I was like, okay. He was like, you know what? Don't worry. Don't shut down. Let's try something. Let me come and voice a jingle, okay, and see what would happen. And mm. boom, first day of jingle, you know, I have a dream. I'm kind of jingle with yeah. you know, something. Next thing, someone called. We had a voice, two faces voice on the radio. You know, he was talking about it. Uh, can we schedule a meeting? What? Well, on that meeting, mm. we got the check. On like that, that day. We did not leave there without a yes. check. So I called him, I was like, oh boy, we don't <laughs> blow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so it was just amazing. Okay? Uh, so that was it. He, you know, lent his support, mm. you know, and encouraged me to push down. The, the sponsor who took a risk on us, the mm. Haven Homes, the yes. first sponsor, you know, first sponsors, because this was a new show. This was, you know, something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. They don't know if they will have any traction. So they were just building eight units of, um, 18 units of um, a new development in Lekki. It was their mm -hmm. first development in Lekki. And boom, they did the show. From 18 units, they did 150 in less than, you know, two years. Yes. And they were like, wow. You know, they had to sponsor more than once. Yeah. So it was, it's a shared value. So I said to people, you have to try and also create opportunities for people because you might just be creating opportunity for yourself. So everybody shared. The show got paid. Yes. I mean, obviously, Classic FM and Beat FM got their money. We were there. Eh? Um, my friend actually got an endorsement as well mm -hmm. from this um, sponsor, yes. which led him into buying two homes from this wow. sponsor. And the sponsor, obviously, that thought to do 18 units did almost 115. So it was a success story. It was yes. sweet, you know. And that was the platform that made this um, show turn 10 today. Because if those opportunities were not given to us, trust me, it would have just ended on the first yes. first episode, really, not even the really, first season. Really yeah, so great. yeah, that was it. So I suppose it's a big shout out to Haven Homes, to Baba. And to Chris Wilson. Yes, yeah, Mega Electrics. And Mega Electrics and Classic FM. <laughs> and Beat FM, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, um, so Ruth, we're coming through, well, hopefully, we're coming through a pandemic. Now, there's no doubt that the real estate industry has been affected by this. But speaking about your business in particular and the radio show, has any impacts? Oh, of course. Like, we got caught up. We were in the middle of our 13th season yeah. when the pandemic started. And, of course, it was a problem for us to continue because the sponsors for the 14th season that was meant to be last year yeah. couldn't come through because they were like, mm -hmm. oh, nobody's on the road. 
But I was like, people listen to radio at home, obviously. But it was difficult and it was mm. challenging for us to be able to convince them. And we're like, okay, it's also just a bad time. So, of course, everybody, you go back to part, you, your drawing board. But what it was for us is that we, we I would say we were actually prepared. Mm. Because remember, this digitization that I've been talking about, globalization, had prepared us for times like this. Mm. Okay? We shut our co work space. We created an online co work space. Okay? We, what we did with real estate on air is, okay, at the end of the day, even if we're not going to be able to do, uh, we did a podcast. Yes. People were listening to our podcast on YouTube mm -hmm. and, you know, or whatnot. But generally for businesses, obviously, it's a very tough time. So only thing you need to do is to find out what tools and assets that you have yes. that can create value for you. And those are digital products, which we already have. So we didn't need to build one. So yes. it wasn't like we were taking on a rest. So we we're thankful that at least we had things going for us at the time where we were all locked up and you know locked down. So we work from home currently, but of course things are you know beginning to open up again. All right. So before we go, let's um, let me ask this. So it's been ten years, and we've looked back ten years. Now, what I want us to do with you is to look ahead 10 years. Real thing. estate on air. Uh, 10 years in the future. What can we expect? Um, so for, for us now, it's obviously it's, it, anything that we do as a company, it has to be a shared value. It's more of sustainability, okay? We're not looking to what are we going to be doing for the people coming behind? We've set up all these platforms. We've created opportunities for, you know, we've created momentum in the industry. And as a person, it's about fulfillment at the mm. moment. Whatever I'm doing has to align with my beliefs. It has to align with what makes me who I am. Yeah. So I'm out there trying to empower the younger generation right now, teaching them on how to come into the sector, how to learn how to invest in real estate. Okay, so I do that through my master classes, my mm -hmm. coaching classes, because what I saw that was a problem, which I also experienced when I was a young real estate um, a person, was there was nobody to teach you. You needed to learn by yourself, mm -hmm. and you make mistakes, people criticize you, they don't correct you. So there's, there's a difference when people talk down on you, misunderstand you, even when you don't know. Mm. You're looking for someone that will tell you, oh, this is how it should be done. There was that opportunity was not there. People write you off for mistakes that you didn't even know that you're making. So I've learned from that, that experience. And I don't want people coming behind me to have that same Problem. So I've created platforms that can have people who are interested to reach out to me and I should be able to mentor them and show them when, you know, they where, you know, just yeah. lead them through. So, so essentially it's a little bit of your, your giving back. Yeah. So mm. it's, I, I've been doing that in the past two years. So mm -hmm. giving back and so creating that platform. Don't think that you can fail. I've, I mean, I've created so many resources that didn't work yeah. that this one has done 10 years. Some hasn't made it past a yeah. year or two. So it's yeah. just, you know, at the end of the day, resilience, you know, being relentless, waiting you know, on yourself, believing in yourself, most importantly, because if you don't believe in yourself, even if when someone believes in you, you won't even agree that it's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that's the key thing. You know, give back, it empower people, create the same opportunities mm -hmm. that you were given, offer it to the younger ones coming mm -hmm. so that we can have a better tomorrow. Words of wisdom from the CEO of 3 Invest Limited and the host of the radio show Real Estate on Air, Ruth Obi. Real Estate on Air is 10 years old. Wow. Here's to the next 10. Ruth, it's been a pleasure talking. Thank you so much, Chico. This is Real Estate on Air. 
the most authoritative real estate show on radio.